Hello, Greg from Balloon Markets here and welcome to BMTV. I hope you're having a good week so far. Before we start, I need to say obviously thank you to all our guests over the last five weeks. We've not done one of these for, for six weeks. This is the sixth week. So thank you to Chris Adamo, Chris Horn, uh, Alberto Falcone and Dr. Bob and not necessarily in that order. Thank you guys. Really love working with all of you and appreciate you coming on BMTV. So thank you so much. And I've got some great news. We have two new guests coming on over the next couple of weeks. So next, I'm not going to tell you who they are, but next week, we, I'm going to give you a bit of a teaser. Next week, we've got um, a lady. There you go, first clue. And she's from here in the UK. And I, I love her creativity, but also her focus on the business side of being in business. So I've talked about it before, how it's really important if you want your business to support you, that you need to think about the business side. It's very nice just creating things with balloons, but if you're not doing it at a profit, then you're not gonna make a successful business. And, and that is what she has focused on. She's managed to get a really good balance of business and creativity and put them together. She's fantastic. So yes, a lot of knowledge to be shared there. And the second lady, another one, um, is not from the UK. She is from the United States of America. Yes, I'm really looking forward to her. I did it. We've filmed these already. I really enjoyed talking to her. And it's, um, yes, somebody who's in one of the warmer states. She's been in the industry for many years. She's changed how she's worked in the industry. And um, serendipitously, um, things have happened to her as well. So it's, yeah, really, really good. Again, she's thinking very much from a business point of view. So both shows definitely worth a watch over the next couple of weeks. Now I've got some other fantastic news. Training at Balloon Market is back. Woo-hoo! Um, yes. Oh, God, my, was, my throat was gone a bit there. Um, yes, so quite excited about this. We love doing the training down here at Balloon Market. It's, it's just really nice to see people face to face, real people. Um, so yeah, really looking forward um, to that. We are kicking off on the 6th of July with the wonderful Mark Drury doing a Qualitex Fundamentals. So if you've been looking for a beginner's course, this is probably the one that you want to go on, Qualitex Fundamentals sets the bar. It's fantastic. And Mark, he's worked for Qualitex for a long time. He's got Qualitex blood running through his veins. He knows the products, he knows the company, and he knows the course so, so well. Um, you honestly could not ask for, for somebody better than Mark. So we are really excited to get Mark back down here. And then later in the month, we have Sue Bowler, balloon industry royalty. She is has revamped her uh, organics course. So even if you've been on her organics course before, you still might learn something new. So really excited about, I've got two dates with Sue doing that. So yeah, really excited about that. And then towards the end of the month, we have the wonderful Chris Horn. Yes, he is going to be doing two new courses as well. The first is wedding trends because hopefully weddings are going to be opening up and more people going to weddings, etc. So hopefully that is going to be absolutely spot on. And then he's doing another one on circles and rings and hoops, things that are round. So he's doing that. So I'm really excited about those two new courses. And then we'll be doing more courses in August, September, October, and hopefully November as well. We've just not got as far as planning exactly which ones we have so far. So they will be on our website, head to balloonmarket.co.uk, click on the training banner, and you will be able to see what courses we have coming up. Even the ones I've just mentioned, we're filming on Tuesday. This is going out on Thursday. Hopefully, the ones I've just mentioned will be on there, but if not, they'll be on there very, very soon. Just keep checking back and, and you will see those. So um, yeah, really, really excited. If you've not been to a training course here at Balloon Market before, we're going to do it in our usual venue, which is the football club around the corner, Totten Football Club. And it's a great room. We're reducing the number of people that we have on the training courses so because of COVID. So it just means everybody's going to have more space. The main reason we're going to continue using that space is because of the space. And they've got windows that you can open and follow all the guidance and all of that. So it's really about, about keeping it safe. But uh, unfortunately, Wayne has gone. Wayne and his famous sausage rolls I used to go on about, he has gone. He moved on. And, but Johnny, a, a qualified chef, is there now. And he will be preparing lunches. 
They're not going to be, it's not going to be a buffet like before. Everything's going to be individually plated and he will obviously be making the food and um, following guidelines and wearing gloves and, and all of that sort of stuff. So it's going to be great. It's going to be really good to be back there in that venue. It's got high ceilings. It's bright. We've had, I think we did a video with Mark when we first started doing the training that shows you around the venue. But it's, um, and you'll see pictures online. I'm sure there's some on the, on the, the training pages on the website. But yeah, it's a, it's a great venue. So really excited about that. And of course, you will get your, the benefit of your, your discount code that would last a week to spend at Balloon Market. If you do order on the day, then I'll come back around here, pick up your order, and you'll be able to take it away with you. Um, we are thinking of upgrading the, uh, the goodie bags. Yes, I was getting very carried away the other day on a goodie bag website. And Megan was just shaking her head at me. There's all sorts, it's amazing what you can get for goodie bags. We're not going to be getting loads and loads of stuff, but yeah, we are looking at upgrading them to, to something, um, yeah, a bit more special. You, you, you'll, you'll see, you'll see. It's quite good. Um, what else? What's the, what's the other reason? Oh, there's always somebody, one of the customer support team will be at the training all day. I'll be there at the beginning, say hello to everybody and probably pop back for lunch. But somebody from the customer support team will be there all day. So if you do have any questions about the products, if you do have any questions about ordering, um, they will be there to help you. And, you know, some of them are quite good as well. Vicky and the customer service team, um, she um, does balloons. She did this balloon uh, as well. So she actually does balloons um, as a business. So she would be there and would be able to share her knowledge and advice with you. If it is Vicky that's there. And Megan, who's been doing the, the courses for... Um, the last couple of years. So there's always somebody there. Anyway, I, I could just go on and on and on. But yeah, training courses are back. Head over to balloonmarket.co.uk and click on the training banner. It should be great. Um, right, now let's talk about stock issues. There have been some stock issues, as you know, over the last year and a bit and supply. I could, there, there still are some stock issues. It is getting better. Containers are starting to come into the UK. We are ending up getting some stock again, um, but there, there will continue to be issues for the coming months, I suspect. Um, I did do a show a couple of months ago, where it was question and answer, and actually answer the question, why are there still some stock issues? Rather than me going through it all again, we'll just put a link on YouTube down at the bottom, and you can go and have a look at that if it is of interest to you. But basically, it's COVID, so everything's slowed down. It's just starting to speed up again, just starting to get there, slowly but surely. Now, there's still going to be some issues like the bubbles, for instance, Qualitex bubbles. They come in, they sell out, and then they're out of stock again for a while. You've got Qualitex and they are trying to fulfill the world. Um, if they were everything they made over there, if that was to come to us here in the UK and Europe, we'd be laughing. But of course, there is the whole world. It's a bit like us only giving, I think last time we had the bubbles in, we allowed 20 per customer. So we've got to limit it. So they've got to spread it out as well. So um, there is still going to be certain situations with some in-demand stock, white sand, eucalyptus, and, and all of that sort of stuff. Um, so I suspect there will still be situations like that until we get back, everybody gets back to a sort of level of stock that, that we'd be able to maintain. So, but it is getting there. It is, trust me, it is slowly getting there. Right, now there's a couple of things happening over the, the coming weeks, months, and weeks, weeks. Father's Day is the first one I'm going to talk about. I've only brought, I've talked about it before, and if you've not got your Father's Day stuff already, you're leaving it a bit late, come on. Um, and you've got the, the latex, I've just brought these up to, to represent Father's Day. Latex from Qualitex, got a world's best dad from Anagram, and also this one from Anagram as well. I really like this. That's a single balloon. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? It just adds volume to a space, but it's just a, a single balloon. So that's coming up. Now, some of the Father's Day items, they are getting really low, so you want to hurry up to get those. But some of them, we've got loads of, far too many. So normally what we do after Father's Day, we would discount them. Um, so for the savvy, savvy shoppers out there, you'd be able to get them at a massively discounted rate and save money next year um, because manufacturers as well also put prices up throughout the year. So... Um, we're not going to do that. We're going to discount them now. Only some of the products, not all of them, but we're dis going to discount them now and it's going to be a pretty decent discount because I, honestly, I just don't want them on the shelves all year. So that's what we're going to do. So head over to balloonmarket.co.uk again. Hit, on the father, hit the Father's Day banner and you will be able to see which products are discounted. And if you have a discount code, say you're a member of Bapia or Nabas, then your discount code would work on top of that. So it's a double discount kind of situation. 
So yes, Father's Day just around the corner. Now the other thing in June is pride. So you can see all the colorful things here. Uh, that re represents pride. Now, I, honestly, I didn't really know that much about pride, so I did a bit of a Google and found out where it came from. It all started back in 1969, and there was something called the Stonewall Uprising, and basically an inn was raided by the police, and rather than just, you know, getting on with it, the people that were in there decided to fight back for their rights. And uh, a year later, there was a march put on, a, the first pride march to commemorate that uprising the year before. And I believe the first march in the UK was two years later in 1972. So that's where it all comes from. Um, obviously, Pride has just got bigger and bigger, huge, absolutely massive all around the world. And some of the stuff that people do for Pride is, is just amazing. And of course, a lot of that might be balloons. So I understand that the Pride march is this year, are, here in the UK at least, are being postponed possibly until August because of COVID. So, but I guess that's going to be individual, depends what happens. Um, but yeah, so rather than being in June, most of them are going to be in August. But we've still got the stock right now to celebrate, celebrate Pride Month. Let's start with this one that I mentioned already that Vicky did. Um, now, this is just a um, anagram orbs balloon and it's been personalized. And this one over here is an anagram heirlooms balloon, and that has been personalized. And whilst they've been personalized, I might as well talk about that for a little bit. If you are not offering personalization, you are missing out. Personalization is such a good value adding thing to offer, and you can charge for it. So this one here, probably, I don't know how much, but that is pence. That vinyl is probably pence. How long it takes Vicky to do that on a silhouette cameo? Not very long. So it's probably, no, I, I don't know, pence altogether. But you can charge pounds for it. I, I, you shouldn't really charge anything less than five pounds for personalization. And of course, personalization doesn't necessarily have to just be one word or a name. It can be a message. It can be whatever you want it to be. And don't undervalue personalization. It really can make a difference for people, so offer it. And if you don't have a silhouette, if you want a silhouette cameo, we sell them, um, but if you don't have one, don't worry, there's, there's other things. You can still write on balloons if you've got a good handwriting or you do calligraphy, just write on them with a Sharpie or something. Um, or glue gun, not glue guns, glue pens and then put glitter on it the old fashioned way. However you personalize, personalize in some way. Stickers, one of our customers that's got a card shop around the corner, she, I actually put stickers on, just the little stickers you can get at stationers that, that you, can, you can just write somebody's name on. Any personalization is just going to really, really help. And it's always worth offering it. It's, oh, would you like us to personalize that with a name or something like that? And people will go for it. So definitely don't undervalue personalization. So yeah, back to these Pride products. I've got those two there. I've got a party banner down at the, the bottom corner there. I've got the Qualitex bubble balloon there. Oh, we've changed our logo as well for June. I don't know if you've seen it, but it's very colorful. That was Alex's idea behind the camera. Um, very colorful um, sort of background to the BMTV logo. We've got these stickers here that are little rainbows. Got the pride there. We've got the deco mesh there. We've got a, a rainbow there from Batalic, Qualitex Airfield rainbow. Got the flag. And we've got these as well. These are little balloon garlands. These are great if you're a retailer and you want to... Um, sell these as a product that people can use themselves. Some people think that this is threatening balloon decoration. If the person paying a few pounds for that was to upgrade to 200 pound arch, they're, they're probably not going to, probably two different people are they're buying for two different reasons. But if you are a retailer and you offer that and a customer you know, brings it to the till, you could say, oh, I see you doing that. What have you got going on? Is it a party? Do you know that we offer a professional balloon decorating service? Here, this is some of the things that we've done. You know, nice organic arch or something. And it's, yeah, £350 for that. Might not necessarily do it for this event, but maybe for something in the future. So it's always worth talking to people. But in all likelihood, they're just two different people. So don't worry about these. Don't feel that you're betraying anybody by selling these. You're really, really not. They are different products. These are DIY products, not a professional balloon decorating product. And I guarantee that whatever people do with that, it will never look as good as what you do. So anyway, um, there we go. So that's pride. Let's go over here and let's look at these Bell Bell balloons. We sell three brands of latex balloons. We sell Bell Bell, 
Qualitex and Sempertex. Bellbal is the one that we've sold the longest. Um, we've been selling them for 15, 16 years. And they are all three brands. We sell them because of the quality. We, we, we sometimes get products in, we test them, and then we decide if we're going to sell them. We have had products in before. They've not worked for us because the quality hasn't been there, so we've stopped selling them. Um, not just balloons, other things as well. Uh, we really want the products that we sell to be the best quality. So these Bell Bell balloons, because of stock issues and whatever, a lot of five inch balloons have not been around. We had four or five pallets of Bell Bell five inch balloons come in last week. And these are just three bags of them. They might not match precisely the Sempertex or the Qualitex colors, but if you do need five inch balloons for something, they are a really, really good alternative if you usually use Qualitex or Sympatex. I know some of our customers out there use nothing but Bell Bell balloons for all their decoration. They've got a really good float time, not the five inch ones, obviously, but the, uh, the bigger balloons, the 10 inch, the 12 inch, they all have really good float times. So yes, we've got some just Bell Bell balloons just hit the blibbly blah. We've got five inch bell ball, hit the manufacturer tab on the website and you will be able to see bell ball on there. Right, hat boxes here. These are back in stock. They're one of the containers that have come into the country. So we were able to get a hold of these again. These are great because that one goes in, that one goes in, that one. So they're quite funky. You get three for the price of one. Um, you don't, you get three for the price of three, but you know what I mean? We've got a number of different colors there and they are in stock and available right now. Lion heirlooms there, a couple of new zebras there as well. Any jungle animal sort of theme is really popular at the moment. So, and I know these animals aren't in the jungle, zebras and lions normally on the savannah, but you know what I mean? They're for parties, kids' parties, they don't care if they're jungle or savannah. But uh, yeah, zebras and lions, very popular. We have this banner. I was going to put this banner up, but then we got the balloons in. So we've not put it up, but it's a new style banner. It says happy 50th birthday. It's made of card. Um, and then over here, last but not late. No, it's not last. Hold on. It's not last. Let's talk about these uh, Grabo balloons. These are great. It's one balloon. It's an individual balloon. And that's where you inflate it. This was inflated two or three weeks ago in the office and I just topped it up a tiny little bit yesterday when I was setting up and it's um, it's great. It's quite light. If you walk past it, I've walked past it a couple of times and it's fallen off the table. You might want to weight it a little bit, um, but I've got the number one and the number five there and there's, there's obviously others as well. And last but not least, we've got this new confetti. So it's fairy confetti, unicorn, mermaid and we've got some birthday stuff there and I quite like that. It's quite sophisticated looking. It's made of card, pastel colors, very modern is probably how I would describe it. And that, I think, is it. I think I covered everything. Yes. So question of the week. I would like to know what pride piece of work are you most proud of? Huh? See what I did there? Anyway, leave your comments down below on Facebook and on YouTube. If, if you are on Facebook, you can probably paste your your photo of the, the piece of work in there. We'd love to see that. Um, yes, yeah, so that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you've not subscribed to us on YouTube, please do hit subscribe, hit the little bell icon, and that way you will be notified every time we upload a new video. And whilst you're there, I've got a favor to ask. Can you please, please, please follow us on Instagram? Head over to Instagram, follow us on there. We are trying to get to 10,000 followers before the end of July. So please, please, please help us. Even if you don't use Instagram day to day, just, just follow us because it just allows us to do more things once we hit 10,000. So um, funkier posts and all of that. So yes, please help us out. Even if you don't have an Instagram account, create an Instagram account, go to the balloon market page, follow us, and then you never have to look at it ever again. But uh, yes, thank you in advance. Right. Thanks again. See you next week. Have fun. Stay safe. Bye.